Hello, this is an assessment in transit of a Bausendorfer 170 grand, 9026. Whenever we move a piano from A to B, a high quality piano, we always offer to assess it so that uh, if there's any work to be done, it can be done in our workshop store where it is at the moment before it goes to its final destination. Uh, the polyester on the outside's uh, pretty good and uh, not really very marked at all, so there's much, not much to do there. Our piano has been fully restored at some stage. I would say looking at the colour of the bass strings, uh, it's between 10 and 20 years ago. Since it's been restored, it, the, the, the soundboard's been shimmed. You can see clearly evidence of it having been shimmed here. Um, you see the different colour there on the line. Uh, that's the evidence of a shim. Here as well, you can see the shims uh, in this uh, the sound hole here. You see there's a shim there, different, slightly different colour. Normal practice to shim soundboards when they're restrung, uh, but you can see the shims opening have opened up slightly since then. I think it indicates the piano's dried out. Now, the amount of drying out is difficult to tell. This note's about uh, it's about four beats flat, so I would say you know that's either indicator that it's dried out, maybe not been tuned since it's been restored very much. Now, the keys have been recovered with uh, a grain celluloid here, and uh, quite nicely recovered. Uh, another indicating of drying out is that the, 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 they're starting to come off these key tops, so um, they'll need obviously it's the back end that's starting to come off, not the front. Now, the most important thing about drying out is that the tuning pins don't go loose, and uh, they're slightly looser than I'd expect because this has been uh, got a new new pin block here, and I'm surprised that the pins are slightly loose. I'm not quite sure whether this pin block is a dark colour. It's like it's been veneered over. Is anybody in the trade who can help me there? That would be useful. The only uh, thing that is great to see is that the fly dampers here, uh, um, this is the half fly dampers, the other side is, 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 is a flat wedge like this, but the, the half of fly dampers right up to note uh, 45 here. You could actually go to for, note 49, that would be even better, because you get much better damping with fly dampers. Here's the front end, they go up to note 33, which is common. Um, but having said that it's good to have the fly dampers, they're not damping very, very well, not be finished off very well. That's not, not good damping at all. Compare that to the damping of the, this restored Steiner. That's pretty perfect. Perfect as you can get it. Back to the Bersendorf. Here's uh, the hanging on. So there's a lot of work to do. It's actually a big job to get dampers right. It can take uh, upwards of a day to get the whole dampers, all the dampers damping properly. Having said that, the tone of the piano is really commensurate with an Abersendorfer of this age. Really lush, rich, bass strings excellent. Very high tense are these bass strings, you have to be careful when you tune them. It's a uh, very high tension but, um, and you can easily break Bersendorfer bass strings. On the restoration, the hammers, shanks and rollers uh, and the hinges here have been replaced. There's the roller underneath there. And good replacement, uh, these are high quality hammers. Been re used a reasonable amount since it's been done. Um, uh, th there are a few things to say here. The hammers are resting on the rail, which they shouldn't be. So when the restoration was done, the, this rail should be taken down. Uh, I haven't checked the, the hammer blow, but it feels right. It's uh, generally uh, action about 50 grams down weight, which is just about right. So that, that's, that's a good sign. Now, as general finishing off needs doing on the regulation, we often find when we get pianos restored for us as well, we have to spend a week or more fine regulating. Uh, that's C, that's correct. You see that how it comes up when I release the key, release the back check. I'll show you what's happening there. So I'm just gently releasing the key like that, just up a little bit, and that takes the back check. So as I release the key here, releasing the key, the hammer goes up release the back check so in other words releasing the key is making this back check move move back so that the hammer can rise up like that now if we look at the one next next to it this is b we'll see that it doesn't really rise very fast now it's actually not wrong it's uh, when you restore a piano it's best to get it rise as fast as possible without it fe being felt in the finger because uh, then obviously as the time goes on the, the, the spring gets less and less tense so you want it to last for a long time that one does rise enough now but it, after a while and there's some of these that don't rise at all uh, let's have a look at this one that does rise too but the back checks the checks as well if we look at this one here um, that's checking really low down so it's fine regulation to finish off uh, makes all the difference it's hardly checking at all um, if we look at the C here so you see on the back check there it's checking about halfway up the back check this is the back check here this is the back check here and they should be checking really two-thirds of the way up 
um, halfway is okay, but it's fine regulation. This makes all the difference between a pen that plays okay and a pen that plays really, really well. So really great restoration and fine quality panels have the regulation. See, that's the set-off button that needs regulating as well a bit more. It's not quite as far as, and also this back check, uh, sorry, this drop screw here needs regulating. That's the height at which it ends up at. So that's an assessment in transit of a Bersendorf for 170 grand piano in 1926. It's been restored generally really well, but it's dried out a bit since then. There's some repairs to do, like this note sticking here. That's not obviously very significant, but generally speaking, the regulation uh, needs another week's work spent on it. The key tops are starting to come off because of the drying out. So watch it very carefully, the environment you put the piano in. Um, keep monitoring the pitch is the key thing to see if it's drying out. If it goes flat, you know the piano is drying out. And then the soundboard can open up the cracks on there. And the worst thing is that the tuning pins start to go loose, which they are just beginning to. So I'd be very concerned about that. Thank you very much for listening.